So one of the things that I think any general counsel would be forgiven for is looking at some of the great claims that have been made for blockchain technologies in their areas and wondering, is it really too good to be true? And I think it's very important to focus on the fact that blockchain doesn't solve every problem. There are some sectors, some transactions where blockchain has real advantages. If you're in an area of business where security, transparency and traceability of information is important, then blockchain has an awful lot to offer. And let's sort of give a practical example, trade finance. Trade finance is the financing of goods that are being delivered all the way around the world. So it involves quite a cumbersome set of contracts and arrangements. One of the issues that both suppliers and the banks that are financing that trade have is not knowing when the goods have been delivered, not knowing if the goods have been delivered in the right condition, and therefore, from the bank's perspective, not knowing if you should actually release the money that relates to that trade. Blockchain solves a lot of those problems. You know because the ledger is instantly updated when the goods have arised. You know if they have been signed off as meeting the specification. And therefore, you know that as a bank, you can release that money. In fact, in the bank's case, you don't even actually need to do anything. If those conditions are met, you can set up a blockchain with a smart contract on it that will automatically release the money. Much simpler, much quicker, and most importantly for the supplier, much more confidence that they're going to get their money. So that's a really good example of a, an area where blockchain solves the problem. What problems doesn't blockchain solve? Well, one issue, of, obviously, is forgery. So blockchains are secure. They're more secure than a lot of systems that we have at the moment. It is incredibly difficult, practically impossible, to hack a blockchain to replace information without that being known. But information put in is only as good as the quality of that information. So if someone puts fake information into your blockchain, that's not going to be resolved by the fact you're using the blockchain technology. Having said that, one really interesting thing is the ability to run data analytics on blockchains. Perhaps slightly easier because you have the data carried together. So there's certainly some quite interesting academic research that I think has the potential to really come into business where effectively you can analyze the data going into your blockchain and pick up forgeries, picking up uh, courses of business that might indicate bad practice more easily perhaps than on some existing systems.